Owning a pair of magical shoes that can do anything you want has always been a dream of many people. Among them, there is Princess Julia, a beautiful girl who is pursued by many boys and has the best dancing talent in the kingdom. Julia, however, was arrogant and unruly and liked her freedom because she was the king's only daughter. She was always ready to cause trouble, criticize other dancers, and even make them dance until they pleased her before they could live comfortably in the palace. When Julia reached the age to get married, the king introduced her to many young men, but she refused them all, saying that she only liked to dance. However, he worried about her future happiness without him, and therefore, he was determined to find her a suitable husband. Upon seeing her father's determination, Julia reluctantly proposed a plan that she thought was impossible for anyone to accomplish. So I have to wish that I want to marry someone with enough kind heart, enough talent, as well as bring me a pair of luxurious dancing shoes, go wherever I want for a moment, light as feathers, dance forever without breaking down to show my sincerity. Because he doted on his daughter, the king also agreed with Julia's plan and sent word of the requirements and ceremony for proposing to the princess. However, although there are many people who bring shoes made of crystal and silk, are not in line with the standards she set. As if no one could fulfill this request, a nomadic boy came to her and asked her to marry him. I am Hawk, a man who lives in a distant prairie. These rainbow shoes were personally woven by me from the feathers of rare mythical birds. They allow you to walk or even fly to any place in the blink of an eye, and will never wear out no matter how much you dance. Julia did not believe such shoes existed, but as a rule, she had to try them on. Just like Hawk had said, these shoes could do anything Julia had dreamed of. <laughs> While Julia still could not believe this fact, the king greeted his son-in-law cheerfully and wanted to see his face. However, all were stunned by his disembodied face. But the king's words could not be retracted simply because of the appearance of others, so we still gave mm. Julia and Hawk a marriage settlement. I can't marry an animal like him! He doesn't deserve my beauty in this kingdom! But Julia, he's the only one who has the talent to make you rainbow shoes and fulfill all your requirements. I just don't want to c Julia, mm. although I understand you don't like his looks, you can't refuse to marry him for that reason. Therefore, I love you very much, but we need to know how to keep our word with what we have declared before. <gasps> However, Julia was still unable to accept the marriage and tried to delay it. Ahaha! These rainbow shoes can fly and take me anywhere. So it can help me escape just like no one else can catch me. <laughs> Thinking so, Julia then ran away into the sky to hide from her wedding. However, Julia found herself struggling to find food. <laughs> and befriending clouds only added to her misery. Eventually, she became weary and started longing for her palace, which she had left behind. Plus, Julia had no idea that while she slept, the sun was slowly burning her shoes. With no more rainbow shoes, Julia lost her magic and fell out of the clouds. Fortunately, she was saved by a shadow when she fell into the deep sea. When she woke up, she was terrified because she didn't know where she was. She looked down and saw that her feet were injured, and she couldn't walk as easily as before. Huh? Julia, don't move too much because your legs are... Huh? Keep distance! It's all because of your shoes that I came up with this. But why am I in your place? A few days before the news came that you had run away with the rainbow shoes, hmm. the king was very worried and huh? very ill. So I promised the king that I would look for you every day in the sky. 
because I understood that the material of the shoes could not withstand the sunlight for very long. When I saw a light falling from the sky, I realized it was you and came to rescue. Julia understood that Hawk had saved her life, but because of her arrogant nature, she still denied it. Even so, don't think that's why I will accept you as my husband. Now take me to the palace. My father must be worried about me or... Make me some rainbow shoes so I can go back there myself. You don't have to worry about this because I don't like forced marriages either. But you don't want a husband who has talent and heart, so I'll prove it to you more for you to accept. Besides, huh? there's a snowstorm outside, huh? so stay here for a while and heal yourself. Huh? If you want another pair of shoes, huh? I will make them for you after the snowstorm huh? is over. Right now, the mythical birds have flown away to avoid huh? the cold so I don't have the materials to make shoes. Therefore, uh -huh. please stay here and rest until you recover. <gasps> huh? This guy? Was he treated so badly by me and still worried about me? But though he is ugly on the outside and honest on the inside, I don't want to be bound to this marriage with a beast man like him. Besides, since my father is sick, I want to see him as soon as possible. Hmm? Julia pretended to agree. <laughs> Mm. Hmm. Huh? Mm. Huh? Mm. Mm. But in the middle of the night, she slipped away again. But as Hawk had said, it was a heavy snowstorm, and Julia could not easily return to the palace. When she huh? tried to catch the carriage, they refused to give her a ride because they saw her dirty, pathetic appearance. So she still walked in the middle of the storm and inadvertently made the wound on her leg worse. Huh? Julia! Hawk's voice? Huh? Julia saw Hawk rushing huh? to her place and quickly gave her his shoes to keep warm. Huh? Julia felt touched by the kindness of Hawk, causing her to tremble a little. Hmm. Hawk, are you angry that I left of my own accord? No. Since I understand that you are worried about your father, then I must go back to the palace at this time. Then, why would you want to marry a stubborn, unfulfilled woman like me as your wife? I used to be a very stubborn person who only knew how to win or lose. However, in the end, I didn't have anyone who truly loved me. They only respected me because of my name, my position, or my appearance. Huh? After I realized this, huh? I changed gradually and went to help people have a happier, more comfortable life. Huh? Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Because in mm. fact, everyone has some flaws, mistakes in their lives, like you or me. But instead of arguing, being stubborn, mm. we should know how to forgive each other and use our kind heart to empathize with them. That's when we truly mature and become free. Mm. So it turns out, after all this, I understand that stubbornness will only bring more trouble. I think I should start revising my own personality. Mm. Thank you. Well, seeing how much you long for mm. the palace, we have to overcome this storm. By the time they reached the palace, the dancers who had been mocked by her had deliberately taken the opportunity of her being wounded and challenged her to a dance. If she won, they would allow her to meet the king. Huh? Huh? Julia's leg is injured, so I'll take your challenge for her. <laughs> Afterwards, huh? Hawk ignored the surrounding laughter and danced to the music, but Julia quickly joined in huh? his dance moves. <laughs> huh? Julia, your feet are still th Don't worry, 
even though I was injured, I still believe that my dancing ability could defeat her. Besides, I don't want you to always be the one to suffer, so if you want to help, let's dance. Huh? Hawk saw the determination mm -hmm. in Julia's eyes, so he agreed and danced to huh? the music with hmm. her. Hmm. <laughs> Not only that, but when Hawk was tired and exhausted, huh? Julia was there to cheer him up, just as he had taken care hmm. of Julia before. Hmm? Gradually, through the melodious <laughs> dance, the two people <laughs> gradually understood more about the feelings for each other. Meanwhile, huh? the other girl's shoes break down and cause her to stumble. <laughs> Seeing that scene, Julia suddenly remembered the important things Hawk had shared with her and how to inspire people with her heart. So, Julia took off her shoe and handed it to the girl. Why? Does the princess not only celebrate the victory, but also give me these shoes? Someone told me that instead of always fighting each other, we should use our kind hearts to make them our friends. Huh? Besides, I understand that for those of us who like to dance, these legs are precious. So I want to challenge you once again, when we're both prepared for the best. <sighs> Princess, I don't know what happened to you in the past, but thank you very much for your kindness. Not at all. It's all because of my fiancé, Hawk. Hmm. Suddenly, the light of dawn fell on Julia huh? and turned into a pair of rainbow shoes for her. This miracle <laughs> occurred at the very moment when Julia learned to give something worthy was given to her, and these shoes marked the princess's growth <laughs> as a more thoughtful person. Julia was delighted and went with Hawk to visit the king and tell him stories of her experiences with him. <laughs> Julia eventually opened up, shared more with Hawk, and finally, they had a true love, happily ever after. <laughs> Look! Why is the monster standing in front of people's door? What is she going to do? If you want to know, let's follow Woa Fairy Tales huh? with today's story right away, mm. kids! Once upon a time, <laughs> in a remote countryside, there was a little fatherless girl named Karen, who lived with her mother in a small house. The family was so poor that her mother had to sell every single piece of wild fruit in the market to live by. Her mother couldn't afford to buy her a decent pair of shoes, while Karen was very fond of nice shoes and loved to dance. Mom could only meet her a pair of huh? straw flat shoes. Mom, I want a beautiful pair of red shoes, not straw shoes that cause itchiness. Darling, try to put on those shoes for a while. I will try to buy you a nice pair of shoes. Because of the love for her child and all the burdens in life, huh? she worked hard, then got exhausted. One day, Karen's mother was seriously bedridden. There was nothing left in the house to eat and no money to treat her mother's illness. Karen had to go to the forest to find fruits to sell to the market, although she didn't want it. On the way to the town, she stood in front of the shoe store every day, looking at the red shoes on display. The image of the little girl sitting in a corner of the market selling huh? goods caught the eyes of a noble cobbler, huh? whose daughter had passed away at a very young age. Incidentally, Karen looked so much like their daughter. Cute little girl, why are you sitting alone in this cold winter? Would you like to join us home and have a cup of hot milk? Thank you, but I have to quickly sell all these wild berries to get back to my mother. She is seriously ill. We're going to invite a doctor to cure your mother and give her a lot of money to help her, provided that you accept to be our adopted daughter, okay? Yes, I, I agree! <laughs> The couple kept their promise to cure Karen's mother. Huh? Soon after, huh? Karen immediately followed the couple to town. Karen, 
Think carefully again. Are you willing to leave me alone? I only have you in this life. Mom, accepting their offer will make our lives better. Don't you want it? <laughs> 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 when she came to live with a noble couple, Karen was much loved by her adopted parents like a princess, being well-dressed and mm. having servants every day. Her adoptive parents knew Karen had a hobby of dancing, so they took her to the shoe store and let her choose what she wanted. Karen happily picked back and forth and finally chose the red shoes she had long loved. <laughs> Karen loved the shoes so much that she wore them every time everywhere and got lost in dancing. She seemed to have forgotten about her mother who was waiting for her to come back. The more spoiled she got, the more arrogant she became. No one in town liked her, especially when she always wore a pair of bright red shoes, which was unsightly to see. One day, a pastor in the town passed away. Everyone in the town mourned him and went to his funeral to say their last goodbye. Karen, you can't wear red shoes to church because it's disrespectful to the one who passed away. Do you remember? Yes, I remember, Mom. But Karen ignored the advice. She still wore a long skirt to cover her red shoes. At the funeral, while everyone was paying their respects to the pastor, Karen stood behind and pulled up her skirt, enjoyed her red shoes and started to dance. That caught everyone's attention. They berated her badly. Despite all of that, Karen didn't care. She was still perverse. At that moment, a light flashed. A fairy appeared and angrily looked at Karen. If you love dancing that much, keep dancing for the rest of your life with that red shoes, you insolent child! As the fairy finished talking, the shoes suddenly started to move and drove Karen away into a restless dance. Karen kept dancing through all the thorny bushes, through the burning fires, through the road that full of gravel, her feet were in so much pain, but she couldn't stop. Karen kept dancing and dancing. She passed by her old house, watching her sick mother lying in bed, holding her daughter's picture and crying because she missed her so much. So much that she became so thin, her hair also turned white. I'm such an ungrateful and a bad child. <laughs> Please have mercy on my mother! I am willing to pay with all I have! <laughs> to save your mother, I will turn you into a dump, ugly monster with red leg hairs like your shoes. Do you agree? <laughs> I agree! I'm willing to do everything I can to save my mother! <laughs> The fairy immediately turned Karen into an ugly monster. Since then, Karen had been hiding in the woods. She could only dare to stand in the distance huh? looking at her mother because she was afraid that her mother will be panicked when she saw Karen. Day by day, Karen was seeking for fruit and left it in front of her mother's house as a gift. One day, when she was sneakily trying to place the fruit, her mother caught her. Huh? I see you giving me fruits every day. It is delicious, and I really appreciate that. Do you want to come in and sit for a while? <laughs> Your eyes remind me of my sweet little girl. She has been missing for a while. I still can't find her. I can only pray for her to come home safely in exchange for this old life of mine. Karen just wanted to scream out loud that, Mommy, I'm here! She wanted to hug her mom so much and apologize to her mom, but she couldn't say it. Huh? Blue Fairy, 
I have one last request. Please erase my mom's memories about me. I don't want to see her suffering anymore. What would you offer me in return? With all my life, even if I will disappear from this world, I'm still with it. It seems that you have really changed. You have realized huh? your mistake. I agree to forgive you. <laughs> After returning to her old form and regaining her voice, Karen happily returned home and embraced her mother. Huh? Mom, your ungraceful girl is back. I'm sorry for all the bad things I've done. Karen, my dear, I thought I couldn't see you again for the rest of my life. I don't blame you. My lifelong desire is to see you live in peace and happiness. <laughs> she also went to town to apologize to her adopted parents and ask permission to go home and to take care of her mother. Since then, Karen has become hardworking. She was no longer mean and they lived peacefully forever after.